Okay, so as you guys can see, I am currently jumping on a hive ship on top of the Rusted Lands map in Crucible. Pretty crazy, right? This is probably the most insane out-of-map glitch that I have ever seen in the Crucible, and I've seen quite a bit. I did not expect these hive ships to be a solid where you could actually stand on them. And I'm also sure that Bungie didn't expect players to get on these hive ships as well, so they really wasn't worried about that because there's invisible barriers everywhere around this map. Hope you guys end up enjoying this. I'm actually going to be showing you guys a couple glitches in this one video instead of just spamming out a bunch of videos for some extra views. I'm just going to be showing you a couple in this one. So if you do end up enjoying, consider leaving a like. The support is greatly appreciated, everybody. I uploaded a late video last night about a Titan glitch that you can do in Destiny 2. I'm going to be demonstrating that as well in this video. So yeah, just sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's get into this. First things first, I want to give a huge shout out to Sheldo for helping me get this footage of actually getting on top of the Hive ship. If you guys want, go check out his channel down below in the description. He's a highly underrated Destiny glitcher. And also, the person who found this glitch of getting on top of these Hive ships is Casperity. Once again, another underrated Destiny glitcher. So, guys, go check out their channels if you want. A link to them will be down below in the description. Anyway, so once you're over here at this water tower, you just want to simply jump behind this bent metal. It can be kind of tricky with the Warlock. You want to make sure you have max agility. With the Titan, it really is no problem because you can get behind this bent metal easily with the Twilight Garrison. But uh, this glitch is going to involve the Warlock and the Titan in order to, you know, get through these invisible barriers. You guys will see. It's insane. So once you're behind here, this glitch has been known, by the way, for quite some time in Rusted Lands, but there really was no benefit of being behind here or a point of interest that you could get to so I just never made a video of getting behind this bent metal so uh, anyways once you're back here you want to have the warlock whoever is the warlock doing this glitch to get the Titan out of the map go over underneath this section right here you want to kind of be uh, lined up with this crack if you look up you'll notice that there's a black line that goes down kind of be in line with that but you want to just look up throw a grenade or two and then once you go down, you want to self-res. You want to make sure you have that available as well, I forgot to mention. And when you self-res, if done correctly, you won't be crouching. You'll be standing, and part of your head will probably be in the top part. Uh, sometimes you can accidentally glitch through when you self-res inside this building here. It's kind of a cool area to explore, but there's a lot more to explore if you do this method where it pretty much does like a super push to the other player to get them out of an invisible barrier. Like the Titan will be going so fast that the Titan will push right through that invisible barrier and be on the outside of the map. That's how you get to these Hive ships. So anyways, let me go ahead and show you an example. So once you uh, actually did it correctly where you're standing and part of your head is on the top part, once again, you won't be crouched. You then want to have the Titan come over to you while your head is like, you know, still in that top part. And you want to melee the Titan. I know. Weird, right? Anyways, once you have meleeed the Titan, the Titan then just wants to crouch into the Warlock, and for some reason, if done correctly, the Titan will go soaring back. Now, this can be done in a lot of other maps as well, not just this map. As you can see, though, the Titan is officially out of the map. The glitch ended up pushing him through the invisible barrier. If done incorrectly, you won't go through the invisible barrier, or you'll just die almost immediately. Now, here is where it is crucial to have Twilight Garrison on. Of course, if you don't have it on, you're not going to be making it over to these hive ships. As you can see, you just want to slowly fly over to one of these hive structures and then slowly make your way on top of it. And yeah, so this is what it looks like outside of Rusted Lands. There really isn't much to explore except for getting on top of these hive structures and then getting on top of these hive ships. There might be a possibility to actually get on top of the invisible barrier that's on top of Rusted Lands, you get what I'm saying? Since we're outside of the map and outside of the invisible barriers, there is a possibility that you could get your guardian to be on the very top of the invisible barrier of Rusted Lands. The invisible ceiling of Rusted Lands, basically. That would be, I don't know, extremely overpowered if you got this to work in an actual Crucible game. Because you could just shoot through these invisible barriers, I'm sure. I'm not positive though, don't quote me on that. We never actually got to the very top of the invisible ceiling of Russell Lands, but once again, it is a possibility that you could. So, once you're over here at this hive structure, you just want to slowly make your way on top of it, and then wait for a hive ship to spawn. 
Hive ships spawn in this map, believe it or not, probably like every minute or so. They spawn quite a bit. I never really noticed them that much. Like, it's just really a background detail. I mean, don't get me wrong, I knew they were in the map, but I didn't really pay that much attention to them. Until now. This is just insane. I've never seen an out-of-map glitch like this. But yeah, here it is, guys. Officially on top of the freaking hive ship. I want to let you guys know I am about to be making a glitch clan and competitive clan. It's just going to be combined into one where glitchers can brainstorm together and where competitive players can play together. I'm not going to announce the team name quite yet, but if you want a chance at getting into this glitching clan, you have to find like a world's first glitch or you have to be good at competitive, which there will be tryouts for the competitive players. And if you found a world's first glitch, you're going to have to share that with me. And I'm going to do a little bit of research to see if you actually found it first. I have big plans for this clan in Destiny 2. We'll just see how it actually turns out. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this one because this literally blew my mind. I had no idea that this would be a possibility. Never. I mean, I might have looked up at these hive ships one time and been like, oh, that would be cool to get on top of those. But I never would have thought this would have been an actual possibility. And, oh, if you stay on the hive ship until it disappears, for some reason you just float there for a while. It's like the hive ship is still there when it goes through the portal. It just turns invisible or something. I don't know. It's odd. Anyways, let's get on to the next glitch I'll be showing you guys. Which, this one I actually uploaded late last night, so I'm just going to go ahead and show it again in this video. Since I'm uploading this a lot earlier than uh, the one I did last night. So a guy that goes by Invicta TV apparently found a new method to a shoulder charge glitch. It isn't exactly an instant shoulder charge glitch, but it's an alternative method. As some of you guys may know, the old school instant shoulder charge glitch ended up being patched. But this alternative method pretty much works the same way. So in case you guys don't know, melee has been extremely reduced in Destiny 2. Shoulder charge no longer takes down an opponent in one hit. So the useful part about this little shoulder charge glitch that you can do, you can actually shoot like a couple times and then shoulder charge. So how this works is once you get the shoulder charge animation to pop up on your Titan, you then want to shoot a couple times and then slide and then melee. If done correctly, you would probably be able to you know, take down your opponent with one shoulder charge if you get those shots off quick enough while you're you know, charging at your opponent. Once again, it is an extremely useful glitch, but it could be kind of useful. I see this being patched probably in the future. I don't exactly know. This isn't overpowered whatsoever. I just wanted to show you guys this just in case some of you guys missed it, which I know a lot of people missed this because I uploaded it late last night once again. So for this next glitch I'll be showing you guys is an unlimited melee ability trick. Now I want you guys to keep an eye out for this unlimited melee trick in Destiny 2 because there might be a possibility that we could see this. If you go to the mission Lost to Lights and around the area where you pick up the relic, some of you guys might not have known this but while you're carrying that relic for some reason you have an unlimited melee ability. And this doesn't work with every relic. As far as I know, it only works with these around in the Lost Delight mission. Now, you don't have an unlimited, like, smoke grenade or throwing knife, but you have an unlimited amount of, you know, a regular melee ability. Like any with the Warlock, and as we know, the Warlock's melee is OP. I mean, some of you guys might disagree, like, oh no, no, that's not true, Rifle. No. Warlock Master Race, baby. I'm Warlock all the way. Hey, it's true. I don't care. It is true. Warlock's melee ability is pretty overpowered, alright? And don't get me wrong, I like Warlocks. It's actually probably going to be the character that I'll main in Destiny 2. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about this. Maybe keep an eye out for this in Destiny 2. As you can see, I have an unlimited melee ability while using this relic for some reason. I'm not exactly sure. This doesn't work with a lot of other relics too, because it has been tested. But for some reason it works with this one. So once again, this could be a useful possibility to keep an eye out for in Destiny 2. So yeah, there you guys have it. Two little glitches and one major glitch. I know the two little glitches aren't that useful, but who knows what will be the outcome in Destiny 2. Maybe they'll be more useful than what they seem right now. It just depends on where we find another relic at and if it allows us to have the unlimited melee ability. And also with the Titan Shoulder Charge, it can be useful if you can get it down good enough. If not, it's really not that useful to be honest with you guys. But the Rusted Lands glitch was definitely mind blowing. I don't know about you guys, but it definitely blew my mind. Anyways, I'm out of here, everybody. 
Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. And once again, if you could, please take a little bit of your time and leave a like. It's greatly appreciated. Until next time, though, peace.